scandal news. I am naked. Passengers cry out after angry Nigerians throw him out of plane for shouting Tinumbu can't be sworn in. Do welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning in to the news. But please don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. To the news details, please listen carefully to the end. A passenger who did not wish to reveal his identity was kicked off a flight because of his conviction that President-elect Bola Ahmed Tinumbu should not be sworn in on May 29. Even though he put up a fight, the lone protester on the flight to Abuja was eventually removed from the aircraft. The footage that was retrieved as him making the statement, Tinumbu cannot be sworn in. Then, in, an in another tape, when he is being removed, he can be heard yelling, Obedience, you are here. They are doing this to me. Obedience, you are here. I am naked. Obedience, you are here. I am going naked. Because of his actions, the flight that was supposed to leave at 6 o'clock in the evening was delayed for an additional hour. And it took the combined efforts of almost five airport security personnel to remove him. A flight which was to take off in Abuja, whereby passengers we are ready on ground to take off. But a particular messenger was dragged out of the flights, mentioning that the president elect Bola Ametunumbu cannot be sworn in May 29. It is an obedient movement who believe that obedience won the election and have, and have the mindset that. Tinumbu cannot be sworn in, and this resulted to fights, and the lone passenger, the lone protester, could not do anything himself because he is the only one amidst all the passengers, and it it took five airport security personnel to remove him from the flights. The flight that was supposed to take up was delayed just because of him. But why will they have to take him off the flight by say, making that statement? Is this a criteria not to fly out, not to make use of the plane? Because we believe that we are all Nigerians. Everybody have is our words to say, is our statement to say. This should not have been held against him. But the people did not even give him breathing space just because he is obedient movement and they believed in the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC. So he was removed out of the plane. He was even saying that he is naked, that he is going naked, and the obedient are looking at him. And also, the governors of the all 36 states in Nigeria, acting under the auspices of the Nigeria Governors Forum, issued a request to the Department of State Services, DSS, requesting that it immediately arrest and prosecute those individuals whom it has identified as planning to install an interim government rather than continue to issue statements that inflame the political climate. Nonetheless, the governors who have spoken out against illegitimate methods of regime change have vowed to fight back and have reaffirmed their dedication to protesting Nigeria's democracy in their roles as elected officials. The DSS had previously issued a statement 
in which it claimed to have uncovered key actors in the scheme to establish an interim government in Nigeria. Halbit, it did not reveal the identities of these individuals. The agency claimed that the interim government's planners had met multiple times and discussed various strategies for putting their plan into action. The strategies included funding ongoing protests in cities across Nigeria, obtaining a warrant to declare a state of emergency, and obtaining a court injunction to prevent the inauguration of the federal and state legislatures. The people have cried out the governors of the 36 states has called on the DSS to arrest those people that wants to initiate the interim government, believing that Nigeria needs an interim government and not Tenumbu to be sworn in. We have come to the end of the news. What's your take on the news? Kindly share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.